And uh, <clears throat> you can't deny the word wacky <laughs> for the number three. And I was just considering how Holy Ghost um, does some pretty wacky things. And um, the creative genius of God is so out of control that um, it really is wacky. Um, and look at how loaded the word wacky is by divine ordinance for the glory of the Trinity. <laughs> it's too obvious. At dead center is the three. <laughs> At dead center. And then he gets flanked with AK, which makes 12. And then that gets flanked with WY, perfectly balanced on either side of 24, to make 48. So it gets perfectly flanked by multiples of 12. 12, and then a triple of that on top of that, 48. 12, 48, flanking the central 3. God does wacky things all through the Bible. He's done fun, wacky things all through history. Um, he's the king of imagination. Bring it on. So, <clears throat> look at that. All the letters outside of the C make 60. And then, so the grand total is, of course, 63. Okay, which divides by 9. And then you can say God, our famous prefix God is, which equals without, of course, and divides by 9. But, God is equals 54, which divides by 9, and equals love. God is three persons, and you can say God is wacky, whenever he wants to be. Obviously, he's infinite. He's in charge of all imagination all over planet Earth. Um, I would say the definition of wacky is... I mean, you can make up just about anything you want, but probably the definition of wacky would be out of the ordinary. There you go. God is definitely out of the ordinary. <laughs> He's definitely supernatural. He's definitely extraordinary, extraordinary. God is wacky, unpredictable, out of the ordinary, surprising, shocking, amazing, pow. You know, all these words come to mind when we think of wacky. But look at how beautifully loaded it is for the number three. And in particular, I think the Holy Ghost, the third member of the Trinity, and I was just marveling, even just from that piece of word art that I just did with the three letters God, how I did the G all beautifully symmetrical ornate, the O perfectly pow and dead center, and then something inside of us just wants to make the third item a little bit wacky, like just unexpected. And joke patterns and storytelling patterns in human history follow that same thing where typically in a three-part joke, first they'll tell you something serious for the first part, then they'll tell you something serious for the second part, and then the third part will be this wacky thing that makes you laugh. Um, comedy teams and stage teams will typically have two guys that are, you know, like two brothers. The Marx Brothers are a perfect example. That's an ultimate divine trio. Grocho plus Chico plus Harpo divides by three. We solved that a million times. But the famous Marx Brothers, you know, you've got the two guys that can talk, you know, Chico and Groucho, and do all this dialogue, and then you've got the third guy that's just total, you know, slapstick physical comedy, Harpo. It just seems there's something inside of us that, you know, loves that kind of first two serious, and then the third item just wacky. Something unexpected. Something just whimsical. Um, and I would suggest that that is partially indicative of the God who made us, the triune God who made us, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Um, I mean, okay, just, 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 I'm just presenting thoughts here, okay? And... I mean, look at the word wacky. I mean, it's just perfectly designed for the number three. Like, just perfect. <laughs> like, it's just so obvious. And, you know, God is equals 54. That's 
6 times 9, this is 7 times 9, put that all together, you get the famous 117, you know, mathematician, and then look at the, the divine ordained text of Jehovah. Jehovah. The center letter is the famous O, which is 15, the only one that divides by 3, and then it gets flanked with a multiple of 3, and that gets flanked with a multiple of 3, and that gets flanked with a multiple of 3. So the sovereign name Jehovah perfectly, exactly parallels the word wacky. God is the, Jehovah is the king of creativity. He's the king of being out of the ordinary. He's the king of the unexpected, surprising, delightful. He created all children. That do, children do wacky things day and night. Well, God, Jehovah, created those children and delights in them. How can you deny the wacky nature of God? <laughs> Just watch children in the playroom, on the playground. Look at the clothes they wear. Look at the things they do with their food. It's pure wackiness. I love this word, wacky. But I was just marveling, in particular, like, I, in particular, I mean, when you when you you see the Holy Ghost doing a lot of things, it can be wacky sometimes. Like it's just, wow, that's wacky. Like I did not expect that. Watch some of the Benny Hinn crusades. It is wacky stuff. Most people can't handle it. You're like, really? God is into this? Like, you know, Benny Hinn swinging his coat at people and they get, you know, blown over? Just like, this is wacky. I did not expect this. But if God wants to do something, he, he can do it. Just, you know, all through the Bible, talking donkeys, people walking on water, Peter goes fishing, finds a gold coin in the mouth of a fish. That's wacky. Oh, Peter, by the way, um, you don't need to pay taxes from labor. Uh, just go fishing. Uh, catch the first fish. There will be a gold coin sitting in the fish's mouth. Pay that for your taxes. That's wacky. Jesus healing a blind man by spitting on the ground, making, making you know, clay with, with the spit, and just shoving it in the guy's eyes. That's wacky. The prophet telling Naaman, saying, this is how I want you to get healed. I want you to go to, uh, to a river that's not actually that clean and, and kind of probably kind of annoying to get down into the center of. I want you to go into that freezing cold water and I want you to dunk yourself seven times. And when you come up from the water the seventh time, you're going to be completely healed of your leprosy. That's wacky. And he goes and does it and it works. Just about every miracle in the Bible can be considered wacky, unexpected, one of a kind. That's another way of saying wacky. A standout, one of a kind, unique, unheard of. Wacky. God is wacky. Read the Bible. Read the book of Revelation. You'll be like, this is wacky stuff. It's like, God is the king of imagination. I just love this word wacky, and it's just, it screams out the number three. Okay? And, to be honest, I was, I was um, just looking at a piece of word art and just marvel. Folks, I'm not... Like, doesn't... Like, the, the G I do first, you know, beautiful symmetry, nice and symmetrical. Same with the O. Focus on symmetry, nice and clean cut. And then, the third letter, it's like you just want to do something wacky. You just want to do something a little bit lopsided. It makes people go, oh, that's kind of interesting. You know, that's just different, unbalanced, you know, unsymmetrical, wacky. And that's the way we like things. It's like when someone tells a joke, a three-part joke, they tell the first serious section, they tell the second serious section, and then the third part is the funny part. You know, I just, I just believe that about the Holy Ghost in many ways. Like, you know, um, <laughs> that... Uh, <laughs> You know, whenever I, I just I just think the, the I just think that like you know if 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 you could you know like God the Father Christ the Son Holy I don't know um, all I know is I've seen a lot of real Holy Ghost movement revivals um, are quite wacky like there's a ton of miracles a lot of them very unique. Things never seen before, shocking stuff, you know, gold teeth appearing in Moses. 
in, in mouths and you know people getting falling over on the carpet, holy laughter, um, all sorts of just Holy Ghost creative miracles. Okay, I'm just you decide for yourself. I personally believe the Holy Ghost is the king of surprise. <laughs> and just doing crazy, creative, fun miracles. Okay? Wacky. I mean, look at the word, and then you can, as if that wasn't enough, you can put the W and A together to make 24, divides by 12, and the K and the Y together to make 36, divides by 12. It's all for the number three, and God is three persons. You cannot deny the perfection of the word wacky for the number three, just like the perfection of the word Jehovah for the number three. Read the Bible. If, for, if those of you, you know, read the Bible from start to finish. It's wacky. Like, it's wacky what goes on. Just when you think something isn't allowed, guess again. Like, it's wacky. It's really wacky, the miracles that God does. Like, totally unique, totally unexpected. I love wacky colors. I love seeing people dress up wacky. I think people need more wacky in their life, like wacky creative stuff in their life than, <laughs> than most people allow themselves. Like it's just, <laughs> and then they, you know, they try and whatever. But, um, you know, and of course dress up uh, divides by three, so dress up wacky. Uh, but just awesome. Okay, um, just look at children. I mean, children are the best example. Children are made in the image of God. Look at how free and creative they are. Um, but there you go. Beautiful threes. Three at dead center, flanked in 12. In fact, this is just an amazing revelation as I look at this. This is insane. This is insane how perfect the word wacky is. Um, I believe that the Holy Ghost in particular, the third member of the Trinity, has a special place in the design of the words that we speak. And I believe that he is a creative genius. I just, I believe that the three members of the Godhead, Godhead are somehow slightly distinct in their very personality. Okay, so that as they created many unique people on this planet, you know, unity and diversity we talk about, I believe that that is the actual essence of the Triune Godhead. That there is actual diversity of personality in the triune God. Okay? Um, and we do see that through the scripture. Like, you can, pick up, you can pick out, you can write down attributes of the Son, write down attributes of the Holy Ghost, write down attributes of the Father. Um, and you would come to the conclusion that they do have these very, you know, unique um, personalities. I, I suggest that. I do so with fear and trembling because anytime you talk about God, you should do so with fear and trembling and great humility. Um, but look at what we see. I mean, look at how beautiful this word wacky is. Obviously, remember, the languages were given to mankind and God is sovereign over world history. Okay? Even that phrase divides by three. God is sovereign and then over divides by three. And history divides by three. God and world. God is sovereign over world history. <laughs> Period. Um, so look at this word wacky. Look, the A and the K make 12, and then the W and the Y make 48. That's two multiples of 12 going like this. Or you can put these two together to get 24. That's a multiple of 12. And then these two together to make 36, a multiple of 12. And it's just occurred to me that we've, have ever, we've, had, that we've now seen every single multiple of 12 going up from 12. Look, 12. 24, 36, 48. All perfectly embedded in perfect symmetry in this word wacky. God is wacky. When have you ever heard that preached in any church? Well, it's been, it's, I'll tell you where it's been preached. It's been preached in the Sunday school classes for centuries. It's been preached among the children. The children have been preaching this truth to the universe for centuries. The children, the toddlers, the babies that throw things, say, say wacky things, color wacky things, create wacky things, color outside the lines, and we say, oh, don't do that. Make sure you color inside the lines, kids. The kids are trying to set you free. Watch the kids. They're more free than you are. They probably have less sin in their heart than you do. Let them color outside the lines and say, that is pure genius. How brilliant of you to think outside the box. 
wacky. <laughs> there you go. The message has been preached by children for centuries, and now it's being proven from the Word itself. Okay. Surely God loves wacky. We could at least say that. <laughs> and that phrase does indeed divide by three. God loves the wacky. <laughs> okay. Of course, you can all... you can uh, Many definitions abound, probably, for... <laughs> For this word, but you know, God loves the unique. Okay, I mean, have you ever felt like a complete, like you know, weirdo or extreme case in this world, like just no one would ever? God loves the wacky. God loves the unique. Okay, um, but this phrase divide by three. Okay, God loves you know me of the you know, all this, but. God loves the wacky. What is that again? 54 plus... Oh yeah, God loves. Adds to 99, the king. Wow. And then when you add... So that divides by 9, that divides by 9, and when you add the... Let me just check that one more time. 23, 30, yeah, 45 plus 54, yeah, God loves. It's 99. Um, 132 plus 63... Uh, 132 plus 63... Oh, 195. God loves the wacky. Um, rare. Also, divides by three. The anyways. Wow. Um, outcast also divides by three. God loves the outcast. You know, just you can just keep going. Um, all these things are part of the story of God, but I'm just here to. I'm just marveling how the words glorify the number three, and I really do believe that the Holy Ghost is wacky. I really do believe, I really do believe that like the Holy Ghost is wacky and he loves to do fun stuff and he loves children and he loves uh, to put on a show and he loves to surprise people and he loves to be creative and um, man that's good. I mean the word wild uh, wacky, wild, Kool-Aid style. Uh, the word wild is very similar to the word wacky. And that the, the threes at dead center are the letters that divide by three. See, this, this C is the only letter that divides by three. It equals three at dead center. Same with Jehovah, always the only letter. And same with wild. Okay? Wild, nine and twelve. Hello. <laughs> to make twenty-one, and then they get flanked with WD, which is twenty-seven, to perfectly make the forty-eight. Wow. So wacky, wild. If you want to put wacky and wild together, you get the perfect one, one, one. Wacky, wild, Kool-Aid style. The kids love it. The kids love wacky. The kids love wild. Both words are just flawless for the number three. You know? You know, bookends three, moving in three. Bookends three, moving in three. To so the point where these two letters that divide by three also differ by three points perfectly, nine and twelve. It's just too obvious. Of course, the word word is the exact same phenomenon. These two guys divide by three, same thing. <laughs> a wacky word, a wacky wild. Like, this is all part of God's design. And I'm just preaching this one because this has not been allowed in many people's minds. Okay, and that is a freedom you need in Christ. That God can and will do wacky things. Unique things. Okay? Obviously, you know, fun things. <laughs> Man, God is wacky. The unexpected. The crazy. Don't you want the unexpected? Normal is boring. I mean, don't you want exciting things to happen when you come together to expect God to be with you? Like, don't you want excitement? Excitement, fun discoveries, crazy. Man, didn't see that one coming. Whoa, surprise. God just surprised the pants off me. That, that was wacky. That was crazy. I mean, that's why most people watch, you know, the sports highlights. It's like the most, it's like the most, the favorite sports highlights in world history are all the wacky ones. When wacky things, just everything just happened to come together and some wacky thing happened and people are like, Man, that was just wacky, and they're just like watching it over and over and over again. We crave the never-before-seen. We crave 
the unique, beautiful, unbelievable. We crave wacky. <laughs> you know, it's a need that we have. <laughs> we need to express ourselves in imagination. And I, I really did strongly hear the Lord tell me to do a piece of word art. Like, I've, I've been solving all these things mathematically. We just solved word art before this. We took a great break from our analytical solving you know, part of the brain, and we actually created, we did, a beautiful piece of word art. And when I did the three letters of God, you know, the G and the O are fairly serious looking, like they're fairly symmetrical. And then the third letter, 